Mosquito skill there on 300 Indians in 2024 alone according to the National Center for Vector Borne Disease Control but what if they stopped existing through gene editing scientific research has found a way to eradicate the entire species of infectious mosquitoes but it comes with its own set of ethical and ecological challenges Guha Dharmarajan a disease ecologist at the Kriya University while speaking to the print said once we remove mosquitoes should we go after poisonous snakes what about wasps and bees that sting us According to a study published in the Journal of the American Mosquito Control Association in 2023 vector borne diseases such as dengue and malaria have even put the country behind its crucial development goals elsewhere in the world too scientists have mulled over ways to keep mosquito borne infections at bay a new way to stop these diseases is to eradicate the entire species of infectious mosquitoes through gene editing nonetheless dharmarajan the disease ecologist added that the entire mandate of this genetically modified mosquito is to eliminate a particular targeted species and that in his opinion has serious ethical and ecological consequences In 2016 a study published in the journal Nature Biotechnology stated that researchers engineered a mosquito responsible for malaria in Africa called Anopheles gambii the mosquito was designed to pass on genes that cause infertility in the next generation of females in that study biologist Tony Nolan and Andrea Crisanti identified two copies of a changed fertility gene that are responsible for infertility among females Even though the effect of gene editing takes place naturally, natural selection wards off the passing of the mutated gene. This is by ensuring only a single mutated gene is inherited by the offspring. However, through gene drive, scientists ensured that even if an offspring inherited a single mutation, it would undergo chromosome editing and then end up with two mutations, thus sustaining the presence of infertility gene. In this way, the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tool prevent the fertility in malaria causing mosquitoes Kesh Mishra director at the Tata Institute for Genetics and Society in Bengaluru suggested that before playing around with genes to eliminate a species one can consider other ways such as understanding the behavior of mosquitoes and using plants and repellents to divert the mosquitoes from biting humans Gina De Cruz lead health scientist at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention while speaking to the print further echo this view she said what of a fancy technology we have none of that is going to work until we build that public trust to make that intervention effective in a 2010 paper published in the southern journal of philosophy david de gracia an american moral philosopher argues that moral status has several degrees and other sentient animals are at grades lower than humans However, when it comes to mosquitoes, there is no consensus. In another nature paper published in 2010, researcher Fern Wixen argues that the damage of eliminating a mosquito species is relatively lower, says perhaps another organism will come along to fill in the niche eventually. Mosquitoes are largely considered to rank lower in moral order than humans. So, according to a 2022 study published in the Journal of Bioethical Inquiry, it seems that sacrificing mosquitoes for human lives is morally permissible. Nonetheless, some ecologists are wary of humans playing god. So, apart from ethical considerations, more importantly, ecological and evolutionary role of the species has to be considered when discussing a tool that could wipe out an entire species. For more, head over to the full article on our website. I'm Ananda Patmanabhan, reporter for the print. See you next time.